FBC Weekly. I'm Emma McConnell. And I'm Hannah Richman, and this is the news. Congratulations to Faith Fosnight and Wesley Heggie for winning the Hummelstown Rotary's November Students of the Month. Here's an interview with Faith. I'm Abby Knopp, and I'm here with this Student of the Month, Faith Fosnight. So Faith, how do you feel about re receiving this award? I was really excited. I was pulled down to the guidance office and I thought there was a problem with my college applications or something, so I was a little <laughs> nervous. And then they told me I was one of the November student of the month, so it was a really awesome surprise. That's cool. Um, what what activities or clubs are you involved in right now? Um, my cross country season just ended. Uh, swim will be starting up. I enjoy volunteering with the kids at my church, and I dance at Francis Moeller. So right now I'm kind of in an off season, so not oh, too busy. Cool. Uh, what are your plans after high school? I'm going to go to college, probably Taylor University in Indiana, and major in Spanish and marketing with a history minor, and then I want to throw for track and field. If you didn't know, Lower Dolphin holds an after-school weekly tutoring program. Here's an interview with math tutor Mrs. Maurer. I'm Jackson Monroy, and I'm here with... Miss Maurer. So today we're here to talk about tutoring. Yep. So if a student wanted to come to tutoring, where would it be? So Lord Dolphin is actually really blessed this year that we're offering math tutoring twice a week. Um, I will be doing it on Tuesdays in room 908 right after school. So it's kind of like as soon as the bell rings, hit up my room. Uh, we will also be offering it on Thursdays in Mrs. Dotson's room, which is 110. All right. And what should a student expect if they come? So if you decide to come to math tutoring, um, first of all, it kind of ranges. Sometimes you're the only kid there. Sometimes there's a group of kids there. Um, but at the same time, you will come in and you can either just work on your math homework and just have a teacher nearby if you run into a question. Um, or if you need that kind of like one-on-one -on -one help too, that can be done. You bring a worksheet in and we'll kind of work through the worksheet and help you get caught up. It's really great if you're absent for long periods of time too because you don't have like a teacher to kind of teach you those skills. So you come to math tutoring and we'll help you kind of get those skills taught to you. Um, the only thing else I'd add is, I mean, Lord often does offer some other tutorings as well. So we only talked about math tutoring, but there are some other tutorings. So if you are struggling in any of the other subjects, uh, definitely talk to guidance counselors or try to figure out when those other tutorings are available. We're starting a new segment called Give Us the Goods, where we're highlighting good doings in the Lower Dolphin community. Here's an interview with Alexia Kaletsis. I'm Lana Miller, and I'm here with... Alexia Kaletsis. I hear you do mixed martial arts and taekwondo. What got you into that? Um, I started doing taekwondo when I was eight years old. My parents just signed me up for classes, and then in high school, um, around sophomore year, I started branching out to other forms of martial arts, so I started doing mixed martial arts on top of taekwondo. Would you recommend it for other people? Um, yes, especially for other women. I heard you're also like a, like you mentor people and all that. Mm -hmm. What ages do you do that for? Um, I teach Taekwondo to uh, five to seven year olds and also kids in middle school and some adults too, so all ages really. That's cool. So Taekwondo, mm -hmm. what belt are you? I have three black belts. And then, is black, black belt's the highest one, right? Yeah, but you can like, get multiple black belts. Two weeks ago, Lower Dolphin held their annual homecoming pep rally. Here's a recap. The homecoming court participated in activities to prepare and get pep for homecoming, including an in real life game of Hungry Hippos where the girls won over the guys. The homecoming court this year was introduced with unique handshakes created by the participants. At the pep rally, this year's mini-thon theme was unveiled. It's furniture! Thank you for watching FBC Weekly. I'm Hannah Richmond. And I'm McConnell, and we'll see you on the next one.